Warning, the following audio is only aimed for beings who are in need for scares and a frightful storytelling. There will be a few disturbing contents and unsettling imagery in this video you are about to watch and or listen. If you feel uncomfortable or this isn't your cup of tea, you may click off immediately. However, to the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies Plop in your headphones, if optional, turn off the lights, and enjoy this audio. Annie 96 is typing, created by Pascal Chatterjee. In tonight's creepypasta, this audio will be a text monologue. You are more than welcome to follow along in this video, and for voices, I will be taking the role as Annie 96 and Papa Bean as McDavy. Enjoy this audio. You sleep? No, guess you're not either. Can't. It's the wind. Sounds like cats fighting. What's your excuse? Studying. So that's what they call porn now? Annie, what the fuck? Not denying it. I still can't believe what Johnny did today. Me neither. That boy has issues. What the fuck? The wind's so loud, that doesn't seem normal. <laughs> no wind over here, just rain. Lucky you. I need my beauty sleep. Damn right you do. What? You mean I look? Shit. I think I heard footsteps on the gravel outside. Get your crazy dad to check it out. I'm home alone. The fam are on holiday, remember? I told you this. Really? Till when? We should hang out. They really sound like footsteps, but there's something odd about them. I should look out the window, but my bed is so warm. Sure you want to look out the window when you're alone? What if there really is someone in your garden looking up at you? Not funny, David! Wow, chill. I'm sure it's nothing. Gonna check. BRB. If there's something strange... In your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? David, there's someone in the garden. What, really? Yes. I can see a man's back. What's he doing? He's looking for something on his hands and knees in the bushes. <laughs> he must be high. Probably looking for his drugs. David, this is serious. What should I do? Nothing. He'll probably go away himself. Oh my god, now he's digging with his bare hands. He's ruining the garden! Shit! He's turning around! What does he look like? David, what the fuck? This isn't funny! What? How are you doing that? What are you talking about? I can see you in my garden. How are you riding here without touching your phone? Look up! I'm by the window, can't you hear me banging on it? Fuck Annie, now you're scaring me too. I'm definitely not in your garden, that's not me. Stop playing around! I can see your face! And you're wearing that stupid football jacket you're so proud of! It must be someone who looks like me. Honestly Annie, I'm at home. I wouldn't play around like that. It has to be a friend of yours, David. Playing a sick prank? How else could he be wearing your jacket? There are loads of jackets like that. My friends don't look anything like me. You just have me on your mind. He's digging again. Fucking leave already! Annie, do you have a gun in your house? Don't be stupid, David. I couldn't shoot anyone. You don't have to use it. Just show that you're carrying. Doesn't that jacket have your name on the back? Yeah, the team's all got one with their names on it. I can see your fucking name. What? What the hell is this, David? Annie, that jacket's in my closet. Fuck, he sees me! Why is he smiling like that? He's coming. Call the cops. Annie? Any pickup. 
I've called the cops, told them there's a break-in attempt at your place. They said they're on their way, but it'll take about half an hour. Annie, are you there? It's in the house. I can't talk. I have to be quiet. Lights off. I'm in the closet with a knife. Hard to type. Shaking too much. Fuck, fuck. Hang in there, Annie. The police will be there in 20 minutes. Do you know where he is? It. Not he. The look it had when it saw me, David. No person could look like that. Jesus Christ, does it know where you are? No. I grabbed the knife when I saw it running towards the house, and I got in the closet when I heard it breaking in. Okay, good. You'll be fine. A druggie doesn't have the brains to find someone hiding in the closet. The police will be there soon. Oh God. It's calling out to me. It doesn't sound like you, David. Its voice is so deep. Feeling the house. Feeling my head. What is it saying? Come out, Annie. I just want to look at you. It keeps repeating that over and over. Have I gone mad, David? Is this what it feels like? Just ten more minutes, Annie. Keep it together. You are so strong. You will get through this. It's coming up the stairs, but so slowly. Irregular steps. Why does it look like you, David? Why you? I don't know, Annie. Please believe me. Can you make it stop? Please make it stop! I would if I could, I promise you. It's at the end of the hall. David, I didn't say anything to my parents when they left. I was listening to music. Is that the last time I see them? Annie? This has something to do with you, David. Only you can stop it. Think fast. I don't know, Annie. God, please. Please. It might be... Because I think about you so much. I think about you all the time. So stop. I don't know how. It's scraping something on the walls. The wall's getting closer. Please, David. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. It's slowing down. Try harder. Whatever you're doing, it's working. It stopped. I can't hear anything. Really? Don't go out yet. Stay put until the police get there. What should I tell them if he's gone? Everything, Annie. Everything you've told me. I didn't know you felt that way about me, David. I'm so glad it stopped. Can you come over in the morning, David? I really need to see you. Of course, Annie. I'll be there. Great. Can't wait. Annie? Annie, how do I know this is you? Hiya Beans, it's Ali, and I wanted to say thank you so much for listening to my latest creepypasta narrations. And I wanted to give a big shout out to my beloved boyfriend Papa Bean for voicing as McDavy for this narration. And yes, we dearly welcome him to the Bean family. Not only give me love, but give him some love as well. Anyways, um, like if you enjoyed this, comment down below your opinions, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe for some more ASMRs and creepypasta narrations. Have a wonderful day, little beans, and stay safe, stay hydrated, and stay warm. Goodbye!